What's going on my YouTubers, subscribers, hope you guys are having a great weekend because we got a brand new horror movie to end off the month of May and that has to be the newest indie horror movie known as In a Violent Nature. The newest horror movie just got back from seeing it and let me tell you I had no idea what the movie was about except I knew that this movie focuses on the killer's perspective of him killing folks. Right up my alley, something new and different. So, was the movie good? So the movie was, it was okay. The movie has a lot of potential. That's the, that's the word. Potential. Because the idea and the soul of this whole new original concept, like, well, oh, the movie's all about you following the killer or him picking people off and his way of thinking and shit. I've never seen that done in the movie at all. So I was just like, this could be something, this could be good. And I walk away from it, I'm just kind of like, oh man, I got so many notes. I'm just like, and this movie came out like a film festival and shit, where it was like, okay, you know, you see it and it's like, okay, can you give me your feedback? What you think was good, think was bad? How can we improve it? I would have been like, okay, here are my notes. So like, yeah, you, this is like the good structure. You got a good skeleton here. Now let's add the organs to make it better, shape it up, and boom, you have a much, much tighter movie. I look at the protocols, I believe that In a Violent Nature is officially in theaters tomorrow. I think it's in select theaters because it was only playing in one one theater in my hometown. If you can see it, then check it out. Sort of. Here's why. If we're adding in the movie, there's the actors, there's like six of them total. And I know none of them. All really just no name actors. I don't know none of them. They're just pretty much just like, hey, you got a week in the spare? Let's shoot this movie and let's get it done. Have the most generic lines possible. The most generic stuff they could ever do. They're pretty much just on screen for our silent killer to just kill. That's it. As far as the killer himself goes, the killer was interesting, but it is something kind of just like, oh yeah, that's that's very Jason Voorhees-ish. So it does have a little bit of an originality problem going with the killers you know, backstory and the killer himself, stuff like that. But I felt like overall, I got the job done. Like we was killing folks. I was like, ah, I'm gonna remember that. The plot in the movie, more or less, it's such a simple, the most simplest plot ever. The movie's only like an hour, and 30 minutes long. So it gets going right off the jump. More or less, you're following this killer. He rises from his grave and shit. And he just pretty much just goes around this forest and just kills anybody who comes across he comes across this group of campers and shit like that and they're just you know partying doing the drugs and the sex and shit and he kills them in creative different ways and then he just kind of disappears <laughs> that's the movie okay pro to the movie how about those kills it's a horror movie how huh? the kills the kills i will say they got better as they got going because the first kill in the movie is kind of like off screen so you're like okay you know okay but well, maybe they're saving it for later a good kill was very like oh Mmm, that hurt. Okay, let's go. Third kill after that, that was good. And second kill out, next kill after that was like, okay, it's like it's plateauing till it kind of got to a peak. And then the kills kind of just like, ah, well, but like well, they're done now. So he, the way he was killing people in the movie was really memorable. Like I will say without spoiling, if there was a moment where he took like a, uh, like a buzz saw or something like that, you know, those two way saws and shit like that. And he put it through someone's mouth when, behind a tree and just like saw his face right in half. Like, ah, oh, face saw. Haven't done, seen it done like that before, so points. Also, like I said, the atmosphere in the movie too, it does, it's pretty decent, stuff like that. Like I said, it does capture the feeling of like, oh, you know, what does our silent killers do when the camera's not watching them? But you see him, you know, it's like, oh, he's fucking with the camera, shit like that. Maybe putting a stick on the horn so you go around the building to get to jump on them, stuff like that. It's like, oh, okay, this Critic, critic shit. Now, this is where the cons I kind of get in. I'm not gonna call them like super cons, but just kind of like my, my clip notes of how I would improve the movie. One thing this movie's definitely missing that I'm just kind of like, yeah, like this is totally missing, and this is what all horror movies kind of had to make them kind of stand out. This movie really doesn't have a soundtrack, doesn't have any music at all. You have this silent killer doing his shit like that, it's just pretty much him walking, stomping, trees, whistling. That's it. You think of any horror icon, you think of the Chucky, think of the Freddy, think of the Jason movies, think of any of those movies. It's just like, when they have downtime like that, they have good soundtracks, good songs, good music, carrying the scenes. And that really like, that's, that stands out. So when you don't hear it, and you're, it's just like him just walking around and shit, you're just kind of like, ah, walking. Boring. We does have decent pacing and stuff like that, because it just gets going, you know. He starts killing people left and right, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty good. But I will say, like, again, there was a 
third act in the movie was just kind of just like the killer just he just wasn't there at all i don't know if it was because of the budget because the movie definitely made off like a five dollar budget because like they shot it off of, an, of a fucking iphone 4 but i'm just saying like i wouldn't like get on this movie too hard because it's just like ah oh, it's got the spirits it's spirits there it's there we just gotta like i said give more money behind the budget boom a better horror movie. At the end of the day, in a violent nature was a horror movie I didn't expect to be anything spectacular, but I definitely enjoyed the immersive experience of following a killer perspective throughout the film. Like I said, the idea and the spirit is there. It's just, like I said, it just needs a couple of things, a couple of polishes, stuff like that. I would say it's kind of like the Winnie the Pooh treatment. The first movie was kind of like, Shit. And then the sequel was like, okay, we're gonna take everything that people hated about the first movie, improve upon it, and then we'll make the second movie. And I was like, it was at least better than the first. That being said, I'm not gonna give it like a negative rating. I'm just going to say that I think that in a violent nature, definitely a four out of 10, which is just okay. I think it's just okay, I don't think it's bad. And then walk out of the movie like, oh, hour and a half wasted. Shit. Walk out of it just like, oh, a movie that has some potential. This would do good on Shudder. I like to see this style done, just, it's better. The violent entry officially in theaters tomorrow. You're gonna see it. You're not gonna see a typo though. Let me know. Talk about how you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, subscribe. Until next time.